Scientists say that extroverts have a different brain than introverts. Hey, tell me something I don't know. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. You've had a long week, I can tell. Just look at yourself. So now to recharge and relax, are you going to A, go out with your friends, or would you rather B, stay in and watch DNews all night? If you answered A, you might be an extrovert, and if you answered B, you might be awesome and also an introvert. The difference between extroverts and introverts is in how each personality type gets their energy, how they recharge their batteries. Let's look at extroverts first since they make up most of the population. Extroverts are social butterflies. They're outwardly focused, focused on other people, on what's going on around them. Not so focused on themselves actually, which sometimes leads them to be a little out of touch with their feelings. They like working in groups, they have lots of friends, and they tend to work through their problems by talking about them out loud. They need to spill their guts, rehash the pain and misery and then get feedback from their friends. That's how extroverts keep it real. Famous extroverts, uh, most famous people are extroverts. Amongst them, Margaret Thatcher, Muhammad Ali, Steve Jobs, and Oprah. Introverts are inward. They live in the world of thoughts, feelings, fantasies, ideas. Oh, nothing gets an introvert going like ideas. People often mistake introversion with being shy, but shyness is a little different. It's a type of social fear. Introverts and extroverts can both be shy. You might be an introvert if you go out to a party, enjoy yourself, and then need a day or two to recover from it. Introverts recharge by spending time alone or maybe with one other person. They have fewer friends, but their friendships are typically deeper. When it comes to decision making, introverts think things through all the way through. Maybe they think things through a little too much. Sometimes they take forever to respond or to make up their mind, but that's all cool. They're carefully weighing all the sides of an issue, which gives us awesome introverts like Albert Einstein, Rosa Parks, Gandhi, and JK Rowling. These two personality types are a result of different wiring in the brain. We all have something called the ascending reticular activating system. This is a system in the brain stem that ensures that your brain maintains an optimal level of stimulation at all times. Your brain wants this much stimulation to be happy. Less than that, and you get bored and depressed. More than that, and you freak out, stress, panic, or burn out. So we regulate that system by socializing. The introvert's brain has a higher level of stimulation already going on. They're always up here all the time, so they don't need as much socializing and activity to have a happy brain. Their risk is getting too much, which then drains them and stresses them out. Extroverts' brains have less activity. There's a lower amount of default stimulation buzzing around in their brainstem. So for them to get to their optimal point, for a satisfied brain, they need to socialize a lot more. Not enough socializing makes for a bored, depressed, unhappy extrovert. All right guys, thanks for watching DNews. Down below, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Tell me about it and I'll see you next time.